In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called writing a quadratic equation given the roots and the leading coefficient. We're asked to write the quadratic equations whose roots are negative 6 and negative 5, but that has a leading coefficient of 3. And we're using x for the variable. So to start, since I have these roots of negative 6 and negative 5, I know that those are two solutions. Whenever we set the quadratic equal to 0, we would have either x is negative 6 or x is negative 5. And working backwards here, to set these two equal to 0, I could add the 6 over to this side, giving me an x plus 6 equals 0, or doing the same on the right hand side, setting it equal to 0 would just mean adding 5 over to the other side, leaving me with x plus 5 equals 0. And since we're working to create a quadratic equation, I have these two, x plus 6 equaling 0 and x plus 5 equaling 0. That means that multiplying x plus 6 times x plus 5 would equal 0. So from here, we can see that we have a quadratic equation once we do the multiplication on the left-hand side, we would FOIL multiplying the first terms to give us x squared. Multiplying the outer terms would be a plus 5x. Multiplying the inner terms would be a plus 6x. And then multiplying the last would be a plus 30 equals 0. And from here, combining like terms, the middle terms are like, so we can combine those. We have x squared plus 11x plus 30 equals 0. We have a quadratic equals 0, and we have the roots. However, we're told that the leading coefficient is to be 3. And so far, our leading coefficient is just 1. But since we have an equation, we can multiply everything on the left-hand side by 3, as long as we also multiply the right-hand side by 3. And since the right-hand side is 0, 0 times 3 will still be 0. On the left-hand side, I just have to distribute that 3, giving me a 3x squared plus a 33x plus 90 equals 0. This will give us the roots of negative 6 and negative 5 and has the leading coefficient of 3.